He could stand up on his hind legs and look a foot over my head. He was huge. I have pictures. <laughs> he was so awesome. But Brogan was so large, you see, from tail to muzzle, 7'3". When, when swimming in a lake or sea, he seemed as if a barge to me. But Brogan was so doggone mellow, and like a good hound, he could bellow. When the moon was full and yellow, his verse was that of a Longfellow. Brogan, such a gentle giant, children found him quite compliant. He catered to them as a client, was never cross, mean, or defiant. The bromance tail they grasped with glee, be it one child, two or three, through the park, they'd often ski behind their guardian and trustee. Mellow, yes, yet rancorous. Could some badass dog menace us? Watch Brogan's attitude adjust. A badass dog is doggy dust. Because by the withers, Brogan sees him to lift him off the ground with ease and shake him like a bad disease and send him packing without their fleas. Because the legacy of the old wolfhound has been to hunt the canyon down and with ferocity unbound, dispatch them quickly to the ground. Yet if a puppy, child, or kit were lost or scared or just unfit, Bro was known to mother it. Careful not to smother it. Now Brogan's gone. All things must end. Well, the kids will long remember him. His spirit now is in the wind, my companion and my canine friend. And I think that I will never see another dog such as he, so loving, kind, so fast and free, true canine nobility. Love that guy.